Peace and love creatives. Okay, today is like a random video. Like I've been wanting to do this, so I'm gonna throw this video out and uh, yeah, very random. So I recently found these um, flat acrylics and they're like, a, it's called Zing and it has like, uh, like a yellow green, red violet, cadmium orange, uh, naphthol pink, the smooth uh something yellow <laughs> cobalt teal and um i like the colors and they're so cute and i want to try them out and they're supposed to be like flat so no shine kind of thing but they're acrylic paint very similar to gouache I, I think probably exactly like acrylic gouache okay and then i went to target and i saw these i have two but i'm saving this one for my daughter so in this uh, video, we're going to paint a bunny because um, it's so cute. Look at this thing. I was at Target and I walked by it. I did. I saw it and I was like, okay, cute, but I'm not, I'm not doing it. No, thank you, sir. Why? Why do I need that? And then I went to Target again and they were still there. And I... It just was calling me. So your girl purchased two. And yeah, here we are. So there's a bunny there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take uh, the paints out. I have kind of an idea of what I wanna do. These are all the colors that, um, let me see, can you see the whole thing? These are all the colors that the So Flap come in. And this is made by the company Golden. So they're a good company. We have this pink. I want to, I think I want to do the whole bunny in this blue. So let's start with that. We're just going to jump in. I have no plans. I have kind of an idea of what I want to do, but I can veer. Like there's no, it's not, you know. Oh, I like that, that it has like the little pulley thing. So, okay that off and I'm gonna get me I think I'm gonna use this paintbrush here this is from Sketchbox and it's a Filbert size 6 um, I'm just gonna paint the bunny if I get paint on me you know you know I'm painting basically so it doesn't matter right okay so here we go we're just going in and I should have gessoed this but I didn't let's see how it covers Let's see how it covers. So I think I'm gonna just do the whole entire face. Um, I'm gonna speed this up because I don't think you wanna see me paint the whole entire face. I'm gonna hold the ear. I don't know if you remember, well, or if you haven't seen the video, I made a video opening a palette full packs box that had so flat acrylics and this is why I have more now because of course I went down the bunny hole <laughs> okay um but uh I have a white so I'm thinking I want to put um I want to use the white if I need to you know what I mean so let's just might need a second coat depending on how it dries but I'm okay with that just want to get and now let's take this off just touched it all right so I'm gonna just start from the bottom and work my way around the best part about this is it's going to dry fairly uh, quickly so hopefully I'll be able to you know do any touch-ups that need to get touched up and not worry about having you know dry wait time for it to dry okay so um honestly i don't know how much of this was on camera and off camera because i had to hold the bunny in weird ways but there's the bunny with one coat and i i'm kind of not even thinking of making another coat i'm gonna wait for it to completely dry and we'll see but it looks good i'm not mad at it okay i'm going to 
sit her here. We'll let it dry. So now I'm just taking the yellow and making little dots all around the bunny. And I made these dots like um, a good space around, away from each other, just so that I can put little daisies around the entire bunny and they weren't overlapping or just a little too, like way too much. And I think I did a pretty good job separate, like keeping it nice and separated. It was difficult to make the petals only because I had to turn the bunny around to get the, a good, nice looking petal, you know? But all in all, I like the way the uh, petals came out. Sorry, puppy. Ears are done. Now we're gonna tackle the face. But I think I want to draw it in first, just to see where I want to get everything. All right, I'm just going to do it in white and go from there because engaging it with the pencil is like hard. I think I'm gonna do the navel, navel pink. So let's open that up. Okay, and it has to peel it. Okay, I'm white. I'm gonna put it on the pink. I don't have black, um, so maybe we'll use purple. Okay, come on, that's really cute. I love the way this came out. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't want to touch any of the wet paint. But um, I love the little sad face. I love the, uh, the expression on the eyes. I actually, um, I might have inserted the picture in um, here somewhere. If not, um, there was a sketch that I made of a bunny with flowers all over it and that was the inspiration when I saw these buttons too so I like when I came out it's so cute let me know if you guys if you guys have seen this in your local Target if you were tempted or if you were like why why is that even a thing um, if you saw these and did make something with them hey um, let me know in the comments. Uh, tell me what you did with your bunny. All right. I'm going to leave it here. I want to thank you for watching. And um, peace and love.